It's the second round of the season and the first of three currently confirmed double header events. Welcome back to the Red Bull Ring here in Austria for the Styrian Grand Prix. Next weekend, we're off again, this time over to Hungary before a week off and then three races in a row again, the British Grand Prix and the 70th Anniversary Grand Prix at Silverstone and then the Spanish Grand Prix in Barcelona in mid-August. A week break follows before it's another triple header, the Belgian Grand Prix and Italian Grand Prix, followed by brand new events confirmed. Now this weekend, it's the Tuscany Grand Prix at Mugello on the September 13th, then a week's break before we head off to Russia for the Russian Grand Prix at Sochi. In the Drivers' Championship, Valtteri Bottas leads the way on 25 points after taking victory last weekend. Charles Leclerc is second, Lando Norris third, Lewis Hamilton is fourth, Carlos Sainz in fifth, Sergio Perez sixth, seventh for Pierre Gasly, Esteban Ocon eighth, Gio is ninth and Vettel rounds out the top ten. In the Constructors' Championship, Mercedes lead the way. 37 points, they are 11 clear of McLaren second. Ferrari are third on 19. Racing Point, Alfa Tari, Renault and Alfa Romeo all have points on the board. Yet to score points are both the Williams, Haas and surprisingly, Red Bull. Hello everybody and welcome to the Grand Review Podcast for the second round of the 2020 season in the same track but a new name. Welcome to the Stiermark Grand Prix, or in our dialect, it's the Styrian Grand Prix. Same track, but a very different event overall. And it was a great weekend if your name was Lewis Hamilton. After misery last weekend, where he had three penalties, a demotion on the grid, and then a demotion in the race that kicked you off the podium, pole position, and winning the race in dominant fashion just suits nicely. He's now second in the table. But it all started on Friday with the threat of rain for Saturday. All the action really took place then. Let's take a look, first of all, at the Free Practice 1 report. <coughs> Well, everybody was caught out in this first practice session that we did live on air. Thank you for everyone for tuning in as well. But what a session it was. Sergio Perez proving that the racing point had a point to prove. He went fastest overall in the session by quite a margin to the two Mercedes of Bottas and Hamilton as well. The Silver Arrow would have finished 1-2 uh, on the board as well. It was Verstappen finishing second as well. 104 867 for Sergio Perez on the soft compound tyre was quicker, slower, uh, just fractionally by five hundredths of a second to what Lewis Hamilton did last weekend in practice one as well in damp conditions, let's say. Third place as well, as we saw, second, sorry, uh, was Max Verstappen, who had uh, returned to form, let's say, after last weekend's misery of uh, an engine f problem putting him out of the race at completely. Uh, third and fourth for Hamilton and Bottas. Bottas had Hamilton in that session as well. Two tenths slower than Perez as well on medium tyre compounds so we were predicting that that could be something going forward into qualifying. Lance Stroll round out the top five for racing points. So three teams in the top five. Last year it was Red Bull, Mercedes and Ferrari. This year it's Red Bull, Mercedes and Racing Point. Uh, the top three teams at the moment. The session was briefly stopped after 30 minutes. Uh, Nicholas Latifi stopped in turn five. He had a gearbox issue and that brought out the red flag. The session was pretty much uninterrupted following that as well. Uh, one thousandth of a second separated Ricardo and Verstappen who rounded out the top ten. Ricardo ninth. Charles Leclerc in twelfth place as well. Ferrari, new aero packages brought into this weekend as we said yesterday in the preview show and this morning in the live commentary but it was still an a little bit of an interesting to see that Mr. Ferrari are quite far off the pace uh, going forward. Uh, familiar faces coming in though. We had Antonio Giovinazzi out of the session and Robert Kubica brought in uh, for the first practice. And same George Russell stepped out of his Williams and Jack Aitken was in. They were 17th for Aitken and Kubica finished 18th as well. Magnussen was stuck in the garage start the session as well with a battery issue for his Haas car. And uh, Roman Grosjean went 16th as well. All the Ferrari cars proving they had problems though in the first session of the weekend. Let's take a look at the times from free practice one of the Styrian Grand Prix. <laughs> 
So Sergio Perez tops the first practice session here for the Stewian Grand Prix, a 104.867. Max Verstappen in second, a 104.963. Valtteri Bottas in third, a 105.089. Lewis Hamilton fourth, 105.120. Lance Stroll in fifth on a 105.396, followed by Alexander Albon in sixth, a 105.483. Carlos Sainz is seventh on a 105.602. Pierre Gasly eighth on a 105.683. Uh, six nine eight, Danny Ricardo ninth, one hundred five seven six nine, and Sebastian Vettel rounds out the top ten on one hundred five seven seven zero. Danny Kvyat is eleventh on one hundred five eight one five. Charles Leclerc twelfth on a one hundred five eight three seven. Then we get Esteban Ocon thirteenth on one hundred five eight seven four. Lando Norris fourteenth on a one hundred five nine zero eight. Kimi Raikkonen fifteenth on one hundred six point four four one. Romain Grosjean sixteenth on one hundred six point four four six. Jack Aitken, 17th, a 106.768. Robert Kipitsa, 18th, a 106.797. Nicholas the TV, 19th, a 109.598. And Kevin Magnussen, 20th, without completing any times, but did three installation laps. Everybody thought that qualifying would be postponed until Sunday or at worst cancelled and there was no chance of running Free Practice 3. So all the attention turned to Free Practice 2 as a possible way to set the grid for Sunday's race. There was a lot more action out on the circuit. Let's take a look at the Free Practice 2 report. <coughs> One week ago, it was Mercedes dominating Friday and the third practice session as well. This weekend, we've had Racing Point with Sergio Perez topping FP1. And FP2, which is even more crucial, has seen Max Verstappen take top honours. Now, the reason free practice two is more crucial is that with rain, biblical amounts of rain predicted tomorrow, a complete washout as well. We might not get qualifying uh, completed tomorrow. We might have to do it on Sunday morning. It's that level of rain uh, that we're worried about. So if we can't do the qualifying tomorrow and we can't run it on Sunday morning for whatever reason, it could look like the times of free practice two would stand as the grid, which meant that everybody was out of the track throughout the 90 minutes as well, delivering qualifying runs. And it was Verstappen who ended the session fastest overall uh, as well. A little red flag early on, we'll get into that in a second. Having two uh, decent efforts of the track limits deleted uh, for going over at turn 10. Verstappen did a 103.660, 7 tenths shy of last week's pole lap at the same track, but he was up on Valtteri Bottas, who finished in second place. Uh, racing point three four. Perez was third, Stroll was fourth, and Carlos Sainz in fifth place. Hamilton was way down the order in P6 as well. A bad session for him, as he's less comfortable with the car this weekend going forward forward as well um there was a red flag briefly as well that a uh, big accident for danny ricardo uh coming out of the turn eight and nine section and the car just spun around the rear tires locked the car went sideways and into the wall damaging the complete left hand side of the car the floor is damaged the rear suspension's gone the gearbox looks to have gone it could have also punctured the monocoque and the survival cell the tub so it's a big rebuild and a lot of spares to be used for danny ricardo uh, going forward as well so he might not be in qualifying tomorrow uh, but it could get rained off until sunday so he's hoping for that lando norris was p8 but has a three place grid penalty wherever he qualifies for overtaking cars under the yellow flag in free practice one where Nicholas Latifi stopped when the red flag came out. Esteban Ocon round out the top ten as well. Danny Kvyat missed the majority of the session. He lost his rear end, as I said, at the exit of turn nine. He was out of it. Ricardo was limping, though, quite a lot. And I wonder if he's going to feel that a lot more tomorrow uh, going into FP3 in quali, if we have it. Touch wood. This is wooden chair in front of me. But uh, we'll hopefully see something there. Um... He was okay, went to the medical centre and was released as well. There is bad weather forecast for Sunday as well, which is race day. So keep your fingers crossed, we might have a good race uh, after last week. A dry race, now a wet race as well. Lower down the grid, George Russell, P15, his first session of the weekend. Uh, sensible to miss FP1 in a, after you've just raced here a week before. But of course, he's got an engine penalty because he's changed his PU unit after last weekend. And uh, yeah, where my on Kevin Magnussen, 18th and 19th. Magnussen and again having a poor session as well as Grosjean the Ferrari cars are in trouble Mercedes with Hamilton aren't where they want to be and Racing Point and Red Bull dominate Friday
Who would have seen that coming? Let's see the times for free practice two. That could set the grid for Saturday's race. <laughs> Max Verstappen tops the second practice session then on 103.660. Valtteri Bottas is second on 103.703. Sergio Perez third on 103.877. Lance Stroll fourth on 104.241. Carlos Sainz is fifth on 104.333, followed by Lewis Hamilton in sixth on 104.348. Alexander Albon seventh on 104.437. Lando Norris eighth fastest on 104.541. Charles Leclerc is ninth on 104.706. And Esteban Ocon rounds out the top ten on 104.476. Four seven four six. Pierre Gasly is eleventh on one hundred four seven five seven, followed by Danny Kvyat in twelfth on a one hundred five point zero five zero. Kimi Raikkonen thirteenth on one hundred five one five two. Antonio Giovinazzi is fourteenth on one hundred five three six five. George Russell fifteenth one hundred five five eight eight. Then we get Sebastian Vettel slow lad down uh, in sixteenth on a one hundred five point six one three. Nicholas Latifi seventeenth on a one hundred five six five five. Then we get Kevin Manson, 18th on 105.790. Roman Grosjean is 19th on a 106.096. And Danny Ricciardo crashing out in FP2 is 20th, only completing two laps, but no time. The torrential rain eventually arrived for Saturday, and after 40 minutes of delaying the start of the third practice session, it was made official that the race director, Michael Mazzi, had called off the session due to the amounts of rain. So, all attention turned to qualifying, and whether or not we would actually get started at all. Here's the commentary highlights from qualifying for the Styrian Grand Prix. <laughs> Qualifying one. So the start of qualifying for the 2020 Styrian Grand Prix is delayed. Uh, well, you can, you can see why. It's bucketing it down. The Formula 3 race this morning was red flagged after 12 laps due to aquaplaning on the straight. And the cars just can't handle it. In these conditions, the floors, which have got all these aero rakes cut into them, become rudders. And you are just round and round. There will be a five-minute warning before the start of any action here in qualifying. Now... We're sort of in a delay, so it feels a lot like 1998 once again, and, and also back last year at the Japanese Grand Prix. We're just going to be stood around talking for hours about absolute nonsense. What would you like to hear about, first of all? The last time we had a wet qualifying here was 2015. Lewis Hamilton took pole from Nico Rosberg. The one previous to that was the 1998 Austrian Grand Prix, and conditions are more similar to that, and they got dry towards the end, and it put Giancarlo Fischer Kello on pole position at that point in the Benetton. Qualifying one will start at 1546. So that is 10 minutes time. They've they've decided we've waited enough. Uh, so 46 minutes past the hour. Qualifying will begin for the 2020 Styrian Grand Prix. Finally, let's just hope and pray that we get this one going and we can get a grid for tomorrow's race. So qualifying will now start. There's the confirmation. Q1 will start at 1546 local time. That's 246 here in the UK and we'll get this session going. After a 46 minute delay, the first part of qualifying for the 2020 Styrian Grand Prix at the Red Bull Ring is underway. We have 20 drivers heading out with 18 minutes. At the end of this session, we will lose the slowest five cars. There is mist, you can't see the mountains, and the spray is huge. Welcome to qualifying. Sebastian Vettel, the first car, out onto the track. Antonio Giovinazzi is out there. Raikkonen, Kvyat, Gasly, Ocon, Leclerc, followed by Norris, Hamilton, Sainz, Bottas and Verstappen, everyone taking it gingerly as you head up the hill, 63.5 metres to turn three at Remus, and then you drop downhill to a braking zone at Sochless Gold of turn four. The spray already is impossible to see. The rain light now coming to vision of Giovinazzi as Charles Leclerc looks on, and it's all now just a waiting game to see who's going to be where. The green light is on, the session is go. Verstappen saying he can't see a thing. The first lap time's coming on the board now that everyone's on the wet tyre. Nobody taking a risk. Vettel will be the first into the good conditions. He's already sliding, coming up the hill at uh, Remus, down the hill to Sochless Gold. The weather is absolutely appalling, and
and you can't see a thing. Can Vettel find his braking spot? Coming into turn four and off the track is Roman Grosjean and that's just in front of Sebastian Vettel. No yellow flags, he'll keep going and Antonio Giovinazzi just behind him and that was Grosjean on a warm-up lap and remember back to 2017, it was Roman Grosjean going off as off goes Leclerc. He's dropped in at turn four as well. Conditions still too bad but you've got to get a time in. The track is going to get wetter and wetter so you've got to get this lap done. You've got to start pushing and see who gets where. Vettel, slow first sector as we knew but a good second sector. This should put him on top and could put him provisionally on pole position. The Ferrari's not got the good enough car in the dry conditions. A wall of spray. A 124.235. Giovinazzi is second. A 124.336. They've got the best of the conditions but Raikkonen is just behind in a wall of spray. You can barely see a thing as you come out of turn 9 and 10. Leclerc after that off track excursion. A 124.658. No one's really improving. Here comes Raikkonen to the line. Is he going to improve? No. Stays fourth. The track getting wetter. Latifi goes ahead of Raikkonen and there's all sorts of drive around the last corner. Gasly and Ocon nearly coming together. Gasly fifth, Ocon fifth. Here comes Valtteri Bottas. Ninth at the moment. Only goes eighth. Hamilton doesn't improve up the order either. Carlos Sainz is somewhere in the mist of spray. Lando goes eighth. Hamilton goes eighth. Now that drops in down as Danny Kvyat goes to sixth. This could set the grid, remember. A wall of spray. You can't see anything coming into turn one. Verstappen fourth. So, and then Perez goes into eighth place, not improving. Albon goes fifth, all currently trying to have moments. Russell top, a Williams on pole. 124-031 in the worst of the conditions. George Russell goes top for Williams. And Leclerc is already a second and a half quicker. At that time, Stroll goes into tenth place. Everyone fighting the conditions. Russell is on top from Vettel, Chiavanazzi, Leclerc, Verstappen. The, uh, look at that, Bottas in the elimination zone. Hamilton is on the cusp as Chiavanazzi goes top. 123.820. Here comes Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari to the line. Good sector one and two and does go top by seven tenths of a second. A 123.072. Drivers getting used to the conditions now. It's treacherous in sector two, but the rest of the track is okay. Raikkonen goes fourth. 124.140. Latifi third. So it's an all Williams second row. Claire Williams will be crossing her fingers and the session gets red flagged for some reason. Here comes Greg Gasly. He goes ninth now. Bottas goes up to second. Pushes Hamilton into the elimination zone at the moment. Carlos Sainz next across the line. 17th goes up to 12th. Lando Norris just behind his teammate. He goes 12th. Drops Sainz down to 13th. Ricardo goes 16th. Somewhere across the line in the vision of spray. Verstappen as well. I don't think that's an improvement there from Danny Kvyat. He stays 17th. Perez goes up to 9th place. That dr drops his teammate Stroll to 16th as well. Perez stays where he is. Next driver on a lap, Sebastian Vettel in the Ferrari. 8th at the moment. Magnussen goes to 2nd. 123-184. Car in front of Vettel. And that is Lewis Hamilton. As Stroll goes 8th, Hamilton is 19th. Can he improve up the order? Answer, no. As Vettel goes top, 122.652. Hamilton in real danger. He's in the drop zone and didn't improve on his last lap. He had an off-track moment. Leclerc, fastest second sector, goes quicker by 7 tenths. So 121.857. For comparison, the dried lap around here last weekend by Bottas was a 102.939. So we're about 20 seconds off that pace. So currently in the drop zone, we've got Giovinazzi, Latifi, Perez, Gasly, and Grosjean with no time. Grosjean's got to get out of the track right now. He might not actually get a run. I think he's still in the pit lane. As Perez, who went fastest in practice one, can't improve. But George Russell improves to ninth. Drops to tenth now. A stroll goes eighth. But Russell goes tenth. He could get into Q2 for the first time. And that would be a mega, mega achievement for the Williams team. Gasly 15th the driver at risk. Two minutes to go. Right, here we go. Keep calm, carry on. Giovinazzi's looking good. Oh, Giovinazzi spins at the exit and round and into the tyre wall as well to bring out surely the red flag. And he keeps, does he keep the engine going? Yes, he has. Giovinazzi, who's gone into anti-stall, gets it back into first 
gear. Brilliant. He's kept the engine going. But he's lost it coming out of the back of turn nine. The car swapped round on him. There's debris flying into the path there. Oh, the lad. That is Esteban Ocon. But that was a dramatic, dramatic crash. And he's kept going. The rear wing, big damaged. But Giovinazzi goes 19th and will stay 19th. The driver's at risk. Raikkonen, Perez, Latifi. Giovinazzi's eliminated. He can't improve with that damage to the car. And Grosjean eliminated as well. He's missed the achievement. Grosjean once again at the back. The second time this weekend, he fails to get through. And Gasly's having an issue at turn nine now as well in his lap. Stroll goes eight, 119. And that debris still out of the way. Latifi ran over in there as well. So did Russell. As Kavir ninth, and his Alpha Tore teammate of Gasly goes a tenth. And where's Russell? Russell's twelfth. Magnussen needs to improve. So realistically, uh, Magnussen, Raikkonen, Perez, Latifi can improve. This could still be in for George Russell. He needs to improve. There's a yellow flag on the track again. And sector three. I wonder why that is. That's going to prevent anybody from improving. Who's off the track? Is the what is going on? Here comes Latifi to the line. Verstappen goes into second place. One, and we've got a red flag. We've got a red flag with 18 seconds left. And I believe it's Antonio Giovinazzi who is off at turn four. According to the monitor, well, Magnussen stopped. No, no, Giovinazzi stopped on the track. And that's brought out the red flag. And that is the end of qualifying one. Nobody improving. So Raikkonen eliminated. So that lap, Giovinazzi stopping on the track which is uh, to me a bit unwise if he can get him back to the pit lane has prevented his teammate going through so he gets on the curves onto the astro turf spins him right to the left and into the wall damaging the rear wing probably down the gearbox as well puncture no so i'm perplexed as to why he couldn't get that back to the pit lane Gets on the Astro Turf a little bit wide and qualify the session will not be restarted. So qualifying one has prematurely ended with the red flag brought out for Antonio Giovinazzi stopping at turn four after his incident at turn nine. So that has now eliminated Kimi Raikkonen for Alfa Romeo, Sergio Perez for Racing Point. He topped first practice, of course. Bad disappointment for him. He was hoping for a great, great day. Maybe even a front row on the grid as well. Moving forward, we've got Latifi eliminated for Williams. Antonio Giovinazzi stopped on the track. He was eliminated anyway. And Roman Grosjean not improving either in this session. Qualifying two. And the green light is on and the second part of qualifying is underway. Once again, Sebastian Vettel leads them up through the pit lane as all the drivers now hanging back to try and limit the spray created by the other car that was a major factor in qualifying one. So 15 minutes, 15 drivers. And at the end, we will lose the slowest five drivers before we go for Q3, 12 minutes and 10 drivers. So this is it then, guys. This is the crucial one. The drivers have got to push to get in. And for the first time in his career, George Russell will take part in the second part of qualifying. And it's great to see Williams in. <laughs> this is great news. Well done, guys. Bottas fastest first, second sector overall. Sebastian Vettel will be the first one, though, to cross the line. It's a 121.070. Bottas looking even quicker. 119.006. That's the personal best. Two seconds quicker. My goodness, they've turned the engines up and starting to push just a little bit. It is raining trackside a lot heavier, so they've got to get this session underway. Hamilton, 121.480. So how the heck did Bottas find two seconds? And he's found a further second to Leclerc, who could only do a 120.490. Stellar lap from Bottas. The flying fin used to these conditions. Gasly goes into third place. 127.49. So Vettel and Hamilton have got to up their game because they've got a lot more to do. On board with Lance Stroll. As Sainz goes third. 126.11. Stroll looking good, but seven tenths off the pace. This could put him into second. Oh, Verstappen. 120.054. 
Hamilton at 118.741. Hamilton top, Leclerc goes third, 119.970. Kvyat all out of shape at the last corner. Should improve, does improve. 120.038 goes into fourth place. Gasly goes third, 119.907. Leclerc fourth as well. Here comes Lando Norris next across the line. Goes into third. Signs his teammate just behind. Let's say he goes fourth. He does go fourth. Ten minutes to go for Stappen on a stellar lap. And it's even stellar. 118, 155. Five tenths quicker than Hamilton. Great lap. Here comes Alexander Albon. His teammate just behind him. Goes sixth fastest. 119, uh, 676. Here comes George Russell for the first time. He's in qualifying two in his Formula One career. Has he got a good lap time? Russell 11th, 120.474. Stroll goes into 6th, 119.645. Time's beginning to come down. Ocon coming up now as his teammate Ricardo has gone 4th, 119.229. Here comes Esteban Ocon. To the Vettel goes 7th, 119.545. Ocon is currently 15th. Can he improve up to the running order as he crouches the line? No, 12th fastest, 120.014. For Esteban Ocon, not improving up the order and stays in 12th place. Two minutes to go in the second part of qualifying. The rain is intensifying here at the Red Bull Ring for the Styrian Grand Prix. Vettel, at the moment, he's 10th, but the rain's coming down too hard. I don't think he can improve. In the drop zone, we've got Leclerc, Russell, Stroll, Kvyat and Magnussen. So the two Ferraris are again in danger. We think Vettel's secure enough. He's way off the pace. Way off the pace. Leclerc coming through as well. Nobody's improving. Albon's improved in the middle sector. Leclerc, two seconds off. Doesn't improve. Albon, 119.014. He had a toe. Maybe the toe's the answer. Magnussen not improving, surely. Comes across the line. Magnussen doesn't improve. I think we've seen the end of it. I really do. Danny Kvyat, 14th at the moment, not improving. It's raining too hard. I don't think they're going to improve. Gasly not improving either. And Le Russell's just starting a lap. 30 seconds to go in quali. And Leclerc's way out of it. He's way out of it. Can he improve at all? Gasly goes eighth. Stays eighth. 20 seconds left. Leclerc will get one more lap in. And this is good. The next lap is going to have to be the lap of his life. And what he doesn't need right now is a red flag from the last session. Can he get through? 119. No. Leclerc stays 11th. The rain's caught him out. Three seconds. Two seconds. One. Checkered flag out in the second part of qualifying. Kevin Magnussen will be the first driver to meet it. He's improving on the order, but only stays in 15th place. He improved his lap time, not the position. So Vettel breathes a sigh of release. Uh, but there's still so many more. That could happen. Vettel, I think, has backed off. No, he hasn't backed off. He's still pushing. He's got Sainz as a buffer to Leclerc. So this is now crucial. Hamilton ends the session top for Marcon. And then Albon as well. Ricardo stays ninth. He's in the pit lane. Magnussen 15th. Everyone else knows it's too wet. But some people are pushing more than ever. Let's turn the engine up. Try and get something. As Lance Stroll 13th. Personal best in the first and the second sector. Stroll could improve here. He could be one to watch in the qualifying order. Stroll to the line. Can he knock out the Ferrari? No. And Russell's 12th. That that ends it as then we get Gasly in fifth place as well. Whether Vettel can improve, I don't know. Vettel's across the line now. Vettel not improving at all. He takes the checkered flag. Charles Leclerc, I think he's going to be out of qualifying. Mike Gallagher's doing his nothing. Charles Leclerc 11th. Charles Leclerc eliminated from qualifying two here in Austria. He's caught out by the weather. The man on the podium last weekend starts 11th for the Styrian Grand Prix at the same track. It's Hamilton from Verstappen and Norris, the top three. But in the elimination zone, Leclerc, Russell, starts 12th. 12th, great job by Williams from Stroll, Kvyat and Kevin Magnussen. Qualifying three. And the green light is on and the third and final part of qualifying for the 2020 Styrian Grand Prix is underway and the rain is coming down even harder. 10 drivers, 12 minutes. Well, the best of the track conditions. 
to try and get a grid set. Look at the clouds, they've come in now and that rain is visibly heavier. No sign of a yellow or red at the moment, so we'll keep going. Verstappen will be the first one to set a time in this qualifying session of Q3 out of the last corner. This could be the pole time, guys. Don't underestimate it. Cross the line at 121.8. We were doing 119s a few minutes ago, so the rain is heavy. Esteban Ocon's looking good. Don't put him out. Lando Norris crosses the line, goes second, 123. Esteban Ocon, fastest of the middle sector. He surely is going to do it. No, 122-8-1-1, loses out. Verstappen could have pole here if this is the worst of the conditions. Bottas comes across the line in fifth, goes only second. Fastest third sector, but not quick enough. 122-224, Lewis Hamilton is somewhere in the spray. You can just see the black dot of the Mercedes. He's only managed second fastest. 122-065, Pierre Gasly just behind. He can only manage sixth. 123-563, Carlos Sainz coming to the line. And we can't see Sainz's time. It seems to have glitched on the monitor. Alexander Albon now. Where is he? Eighth at the moment. Can he make it a Red Bull 1-2? No, he can only go fifth. A 123-308. Here comes Carlos Sainz now. Going awfully slowly. I don't know if he's had an off somewhere. And it's a 137. As Vettel goes sixth, a 123-318. And only Ricardo hasn't set a time. Here he is now. Danny Rick out of the last corner to the line. This will complete the top ten. We'll see what they do from here. Ricardo fifth. It's an all. Renault four five. It's a one. 23-239. Lando Norris all out of shape on the last corner on the second lap run. Gets it together. Verstappen 121-570 improves that gap. Lando Norris goes second at 121-788. The time's now starting to come through. Here comes Esteban Ocon to the line. Fifth at the moment goes third. 121-910. Here comes Valtteri Bottas. Lewis Hamilton said the fastest of all in the middle sector. Bottas to the line now. Fifth to fifth. Doesn't improve. My goodness. That's shocking. Here comes Hamilton to pole. Yes! By three tenths of a second. 121-272 and that gives him provisional pole position. Uh, Gasly goes third for Alfa Torrey. 121-679. Great time. And that puts London. I was a member on a three-page group penalty, so add that up. Here comes Alexander Albon now into the last two corners. Is he going to improve any times? Right to the curb. A little at the exit, just avoiding the white line, though. Albon 8th stays 8th, unfortunately. What about Carlos Sainz stays 7th, 127. Here comes Danny Rick, he's 8th at the mo. Vettel's 10th. And it up now to the line. Ricardo 8th. Seventh for 123.055. Lando Norris, the fastest middle sector of all. At the moment, he's like a man possessed. It won't matter though, because remember, he's got that three place grid penalty. So the times will automatically adjust. Norris third, 121.678. Great job for him at the moment, matching his best qualifying. Cross the line comes Ocon. That knocks Ocon to third. Brilliant from Esteban Ocon. 121.606. Uh, sorry, 121.606. Yeah. Here comes Bottas, sixth at the moment. Bottas to provisional pole position. 21.036. 121.036. Bottas to provisional Provisional pole position. And I wonder if they're fueled for the session. And look how hard it's raining now. The rain is biblical here. Adelaide 91 level. Now we're going to see Lewis Hamilton. Can he do anything here back? After a miserable qualifying last weekend and a miserable weekend in general, he starts this weekend as he means to go on. A 126.49, three tenths quicker than Valtteri Bottas in these wet conditions. That could be pole position as Ricardo gets out the way for Verstappen now. Can Sainz improve up the order? He's eight to the minute. Sainz goes fourth. 121.416. Vettel's just behind him, though. Is he going to improve? No, Vettel stays ninth. The 121.708. He's having a really bad time of it at the moment. Pierre Gasly, eighth at the moment. And improves up to third position. 121.029. Great lap from Gasly. Here comes Verstappen. Sixth. Pole! Pole for Verstappen! 124.89. He set the new benchmark. And Hamilton is coming now to try and get it with two minutes to go of qualifying the battle is on in the Styrian mountains where the weather is playing the villain and who's going to come out as the hero on the white knight Hamilton into the last corner is he going to do anything can he do it Hamilton 
Hamilton to the line and it's pole 119702 he takes it to Verstappen by seven tenths of a second he is absolutely dominant in these conditions and now the battle is on to find a lap time that gives you the performance in the coming minutes Albon is fit at the moment and he's got a big oversteer at turn 10 that's going to compromise his lap goes to fourth place though ahead of Gasly 121.101 side sixth at the moment doesn't improve Vettel is ninth and doesn't improve I don't think oh is that a red flag no it's the boards it's the LED boards Vettel goes eighth on a 108, on a 121, 651. Gasly's way off the pace as he stays in fifth. Danny Ricardo looking good. He's 10th at the moment into the last corner. Gasly is going quicker. Be in the middle sector. Let's keep an eye on him. Ricardo to seventh. 121, 444 with 35 seconds left. Lando Norris is 10th and will start 13th at the moment, 14th at the moment. So he's really going to get a move on and he doesn't improve. Gets another lap in it. Oh, come on to third 129.22 Esteban Ocon to third place and Max Verstappen is going fastest of all in the first sector on his last lap strap yourselves in folks here we go for the Spielberg Rodeo at the Red Bull Ring who is it going to be who gets on top of this tricky condition the checkered flag is out the session is over Here's Max Verstappen coming through turn six and seven, the fastest first sector of anyone. We've got a yellow flag on the track. It's gone green now. I wonder where that was. Verstappen is down by seven hundredths and a big oversteer coming into turn eight. Carlos signs to third. A 126.71. He sneaks in under the radar. Hamilton's quick in the second, the first sector. Vettel and Verstappen's round. Verstappen is round and spins off for turn nine. Game over for him. Yellow flag out. Won't interrupt anyone. He gets back on the power. Gasly goes P7. Vettel pits. It's Hamilton on pole at the moment. I can't see anyone else improving. Ricardo goes 8 to 121. I don't think Bottas is even improving. I can't see on the monitor. Bottas 6. Lando Norris to 5th. A 129.25. Bottas takes the flag. Ocon takes the flag. I think Lewis is going to show off here to take pole. Here's Bottas to the line. Can he take pole again? The championship leader. Best he can do is fourth. 127.01. After the misery of Austria last week, the same track, he outqualifies the field with a 192.273. In wet conditions, Lewis Hamilton pulls out a pole advantage of one. 1.2 seconds. That is the best qualifying lap I have ever seen from Lewis Hamilton. He outqualifies the field by 1.2 seconds and takes pole position in Styria. Brilliant! Brilliant! <laughs> So a crazy qualifying and one of the best I've ever commentated on. Lewis Hamilton taking pole position by 1.2 seconds. Absolutely outstanding. Here's the grid then. Lewis Hamilton on pole position. Alongside him on row one is Max Verstappen. Carlos Sainz starts third with Valtteri Bottas alongside. Row three, Esteban Ocon alongside Alexander Albon. Row four sees Pierre Gasly and Danny Ricciardo eight to seventh and eighth. Lando Norris with that three-place grid penalty starts ninth. And Sebastian Vettel rounds out the top ten on row five. Row six sees George Russell, his highest ever qualifying position in Formula One. Absolutely fantastic job from him and Williams in wet conditions. He's alongside Lance Stroll. Row 7 sees Danny Kvyat alongside Charles Leclerc with that penalty uh, for blocking in free practice 2 and going forward in qualifying as well. Uh, then we get Kevin Magnussen on row number 8 alongside Kimi Raikkonen. Row 9 Sergio Perez and Nicholas Latifi and row 10 sees Antonio Giovinazzi as well and drivers starting from the pit lane was Romain Grosjean. Landon Norris a 3 place grid penalty for overtaking under the yellow flags. Charles Leclerc, a three-place grid penalty for impeding another driver. And Antonio Giovinazzi, a five-place grid penalty for a placement gearbox. And Roman Grosjean required to start from the pit lane as the car was modified under Park Ferme conditions. Your commentators for the first and probably only ever Styrian Grand Prix. The race highlight commentary comes from myself, Joshua Birch and Ian Birch.
Round two, Styria. The, for the first time, Formula One is racing in the same track two weeks in a row. The Styrian Grand Prix is about to begin with Hamilton versus Verstappen. It's action in Styria. Great start for Verstappen this time, but look at Carlos Sainz. He fancies second position. Hamilton defends up to turn one. Verstappen and Sainz make contact. Sainz is going for second. He's got Drag, but uh, he went off the track. Verstappen has the advantage. Ocon deals with Alexander Albon as they run up the hill to turn three. Hamilton gets the advantage, and Verstappen holds off from Carlos Sainz. The two Ferraris make contact. Leclerc hits the side of Sebastian Vettel. They almost jump, and Vettel, with his rear wing broken, is out Vettel's of his Grand Prix. Yeah, that's going to take ages to recover. The two Ferraris hurry carry again, and that. He's going to really annoy the team. I can't believe what has just happened. George Russell has made a good start. And we've got a safety car on standby on my monitor. A 40% chance. We'll wait to see if that happens as George Russell gets caught back. Dad. Leclerc is also damaged. Leclerc. Yeah, safety, uh, is safety car. They've caught the safety car. It's the front wing. Front wing looks damaged. Yeah, the safety car is called Vet, and uh, that must be for Sebastian Vettel having contact on the radio. I've got damage. He's saying, and drama on the opening lap. Turn three, the pinch point, and the rear wing of the Ferrari ripped off, and that is going to take a lot of damage. Presumably, Dad, we have a safety car because half of that rear wing is off. Now let's take a look. This is Leclerc. He's going to go up the inside. And now he does a Vettel. And Pinsir, yeah. I think Leclerc got hit from the back from that angle. He sort of rides the curb and picks up. No, it's not a front wing you need, boys. It's a rear wing. But they're going to change that anyway. Oh, that's Charles Leclerc. In. Leclerc's. Yeah, that's Charles Leclerc in. Ferrari double stacking. And this is really going to annoy Sebastian Vettel as the man who hits him off gets his tyre changed. And what is going to go with Vettel? Oh, can they change that rear wing? We're under safety I don't car. Think they can. No, I don't think. We're under safety car, though. So it might just have some time to repair. It takes five minutes to change one of Bonato's, those three wings. Bonato's got to make a, d a big decision here. Are you going to favour? First, he's got to go into the into the garage. But this Will he bring him out? That's just, the question. Just in case. Ca is this going to be it? That'll t that'll take five to six minutes. And this is dramatic. And they've pulled him into Leclerc. They've pulled him into Leclerc's pit lane, not Vettel's. And that instructs to me that we, he might come back out on the track. But what drama at the start of the Styrian Grand Prix in Austria. We thought it would be a repeat of last week. We didn't expect Ferrari to do exactly the same as last week and make contact in the same corner. Sebastian Vettel is out of the Styrian Grand Prix. And he's what could be his farewell season gets even worse he only has one point to his name he was hoping for something today and that is Ferrari's challenge for the title completely over it's going to be between Red Bull and Mercedes now no it was contact just with the Ferraris the Claire took the sausage curb jumped up and collected the side of Sebastian Vettel oh look I it's think, yeah gone I think it lost Giovinazzi quite a few places as well it did he, got he had to up. break and just Stand still virtually. This bit here. He was just he was just cruising, rolling. I would if he, I yeah, oh it's right yeah, as well. He didn't want to go through that lot. Then he then he, then he goes forward. Yeah. I, I would pit him. I would I would immediately come in to change those tires. I think what they're actually worried about is rip the connections off at the back of the gearbox, so that is completely out. So the safety car's coming back in and it's under safety car in this lap and the incident is under investigation by the stewards, but I don't think you can do anything about that because that looked to me like a racing incident as much as Ferrari will be annoyed about that. Well, should he have put his nose in there at the first place? There was a car by the left, there was a, a car in front. Right, it was not the right place to go. Leclerc. Issues with his car already. He's hearing on the radio. I did hear that over the earphone. So he's he might retire. And Dad, we saw this last week with Red Bull. A double yeah, retirement is going to crucify he, you. He, when he went up in the air and came back down again, that's like a tank slapper onto the floor. That doesn't do the sensors any good. And it rattles everything in the things, all the joints, all, all the all the um, 
Yeah. All the power is lost for a few seconds, then all of a sudden it's jutted back into life. It's under right, I would yeah. It is under investigation by the stewards. Mm. The safety car's coming in. Over to you, Dad. And surprisingly there, Vettel is named first. Yeah, so he could be the one. Oh. That's going to be an interesting point. I don't think... How could it be Vettel's fault? I, d I don't think that was completely a Vettel, a bystander moment. That was all the clears. The safety car is in. The green flag is out. We are back to racing here at the Styrian Grand Prix. As everyone now tries to get into position. No DRS for two laps after this safety car comes in. And immediately they're trying to go right round the outside. Is Lance Stroll getting past Lando Norris. I think he's just done it. But he asked side by side. He did go off the track. He'll have to get that position back. But George Russell's right there. Uh, that might be a penalty. But Russell's going on the inside. Go on, George. Make the move on the inside. He has to back out of it because Lando cuts off to defend from Stroll. Stroll, though, had to get the position back because he went off the track to get that advantage. Coming down now to Sochless Gold in turn four. Pulls to the outside line and tries the move. At the same time, Russell gets passed by Magnussen for 11th. But Russell's right there to capitalize to come back on it. And Stroll holds off behind. Norris, he's looking on the inside. Russell's got back past Magnussen. And oh, off crazy, he's forced him off the track. Magnussen forces Russell off the track at the top of the screen. And that is going to be Magnussen with a penalty. He forced him off the track. Unbelievable. Magnussen, I get the stronger words come to my mind that we can't say in the broadcast. But once again, proving he's an aggressive driver. That image doesn't show it all. But Magnussen forcing Russell off the track. As into the pit lane comes Charles Leclerc. This looks to be for a retirement. And this is really going to hurt. It is for a retirement. Lap 5 of 71. And Charles Leclerc is out of the Steermark Grand Prix. And that's a and damage so floor. And so are Ferrari. And let's take a look at the start. So it was a great launch from Lewis Hamilton. For once, Max Verstappen gets the good getaway. And it was a bad start from Sebastian Vettel. Because Stroll got right alongside him, as did Gasly. And it was just a bad launch that put Vettel into the path of the clear at the start. Here's Sainz's start. He, he gets a launch and a half to uh, try and get past Max Verstappen into turn one. But Verstappen forces him off the road a little bit. And that sort of compromises. This is Danny Rick's start. Controlled, but not good in the second phase. A lot of high revs. And that puts him into pressure from the McLaren alongside Orlando Norris. Oh, and he had made a little kiss uh, as well with the front there of Pierre Gasly. Meanwhile, Bottas sends it round the outside of Carlos Sainz, but locks up a little bit at the exit. So Bottas up to third, and Perez has passed Magnussen. Stroll's got the DRS. Meanwhile, the two Renaults fighting. Ocon having to defend from Ricardo, and Stroll tries to send him round the outside. That's going to give him the straighter line. And the two Renaults are having a battle, but here comes Stroll, just behind, pulling onto the inside. The two Renaults go side by side. Ricardo sends it round the outside of Ocon. The two touch, and they force off Ricardo. That is wheel-to-wheel -wheel action, just banging the wheels together. And Perez gets through a Gasly at the same time. Wow! So Ocon holds off oh the two Renault side by side again I think that was Ricardo making the move the timing monitor hasn't updated no Ricardo is still behind Ocon but for how much longer they're nearly close to contact Ricardo got much more speed this time sends it round the outside and Ricardo moves up to 6th place and Ocon I wonder if that was a team order because he didn't hold back a lot did he and he's coming I think into he's the coming pits. in. Yep, this is a box box was the radio message given. So this is now coming in. 25 seconds lost. This will drop him out. But if this is the mediums, and it is the mediums, this is going to be a very, very good stop for Red Bull in terms of strategy. They can now go till the end of the race on these tyres. And Verstappen is good at looking after these tyres. The Red Bull likes the mediums a lot more. They get the teeth into them. So Albon to fourth. So it's a Mercedes 1-2, mm. Red Bull 3-4. Uh, Renault Power 567 as uh, Science is fifth from McLaren. Then we get the two Renaults of R Ricardo and Ocon. Uh, Force India, so racing point, eighth and ninth for Stroll and Perez. And Lando Norris rounds out the top ten. Mercedes are going to respond uh, right now. And what's happened with Verstappen in the pit lane? I didn't think it was a bit weird. Did he? Yeah, it's a replay. Yeah, he cut across the uh, AstroTurf and locked up on entrance. As well, so so this is. But will they bring yeah. Albon in now? 
I think they must. Or will they try and lengthen him out so they're on slightly different strategies, which is the usual way with, with Red Bull? Yeah, they'll leave him out until... I think they'll leave Albon out until at least Bottas pits. What's wrong with Ocon? Ocon's into the pit lane, and I don't think this is for a pit stop. There's no tyres ready. His brakes are on fire. I think this is a retirement for Esteban Ocon. It is. So there's something wrong with the Renault, and Esteban Ocon wheels back in and retires from the Grand Prix. They were looking so strong, Renault, for a double points finish. And something has gone wrong with Esteban Ocon's car. Is there let's see where they let's see where they um, start looking at back. They look in, they're looking at the gearbox area. Yeah, is that going to be an issue for Ricardo? Remember, uh, just seven days ago at this track, Ricardo had the issue that put him out of the race at around about this time, actually. So Ricardo's going to start struggling, uh, worrying if he starts struggling. There you go, I'll correct himself. Bottas takes the lead of the Austrian Grand Prix then. Lewis Hamilton pits from the lead. Let's see what he's going to do about all this. Is it a smooth stop? Off go the softs, the mediums go on, the C3 tyre compounds and away, 2.6 seconds, that's good. Now, the big question, is he going to get out ahead of Max Verstappen? 25 seconds in the pit lane, comfortably ahead, there's Verstappen, and here's Hamilton. So, for those of you on the mediums, the pit lane is open, but I was right, we were right, both right, lap 28, they come in to change tyres. This is when the pit stops start. So here we go. Bottas coming into the pit lane on lap 34 of this Grand Prix. The team radio text message that says box, box. And away. Hit the control line, 80 kilometers an hour. Get rid of those nasty reds of the softs. Put on some nice, fresh mediums that love these conditions. Breaks smoking galore. Hamilton retakes the lead of the race, but can Bottas get out ahead of Verstappen? No. Can he get out ahead of Alexander Albon? No. Yes. Yes, he can. So Verstappen, so Verstappen second. Bottas now to third. 2.3 second stop. Albon now in fourth place, and they haven't pitted him. They're gonna. I think that was a mistake. They should have pitted Albon uh, last lap. Into the pit lane a lap later comes Alexander Albon. He puts on the soft compound, the medium compound tyre, sorry. 2.3 seconds. That puts Norris ahead, but short, uh, Perez and Norris still yet to pit in the top 10. But don't you think, that, yeah, don't was, you think yeah. Albon now will do a long stint? Yes. So that he'll go on soft tyres towards the end? I can tell you now, if that safety car comes out, this, this gamble's not going to work. No, but that's the that's what Christian is doing here, isn't he? He's trying to cover for a late safety car, as what happened yeah. last week. Round the outside, Sainz trying to get the move on Perez as Perez is out of the pit lane. He's going to have much warmer tyres coming down the hill. Is Perez going to force another driver off the track like he did to Lando Norris last week? No. Sainz cuts him off for good measure. And, oh, get the exit. No, the two Alfa Romeos behind having a little bit of a ding-dong. And round the outside, Perez's tyres are now up to temperature on the mediums. Much fresher compared to Sainz. And Perez sails it round the outside and gets that place back. That was sensational from Perez. Timed it perfectly to when his tyres were just at the sweet spot of warming up. It's going to be uphill. I think turn four would be the move. But maybe you can make it, get it done into Remus. Who knows? Up the hill. Bottas pulls to the outside line. The Stampers going to defend the inside line. Bottas will cut back, get the DRS open, and have the move done into Sotchler's gold at turn four. Pulls to the outside line. And the Stampen has the inside line. But I think he's gone ahead. And the Stampen knew it. Tries to cut back around the outside. They go side by side this time. That's going to be contact for sure. This time, Mercedes and Red Bull don't make contact. Contact and Verstappen holds it on the inside line. Bottas round the outside line descending as well. They're going to make contact for sure. How was that not contact? Brilliant driving from Verstappen and Bottas. And Verstappen holds off for second place. Brilliant. How, what was that you said a few laps ago about making it easy to overtake? Uh, what was he saying about him? The, the fact that his tyres have gone. Didn't look it there, did it? No, I 
agree with you. This is going to be much more interesting for the battle for second place. Hamilton at 107.018. Fastest up of the race so far. Currently having 26 points to his name. 25 for race win. One for the fastest lap. Here we go again. Rodeo up again here. Here comes Bottas. This time he's going to pull to the outside line. He'll get the cut back. Verstappen holds the inside line. It's going to take him longer like he did with Leclerc last year. Here comes Bottas down the hill again. Verstappen this time is staying with that Mercedes. Can't pull to the inside quick enough. Bottas gets ahead. Verstappen dives on the inside. But that has telegraphed the move. And Bottas takes second place. Verstappen can't fight back this time because he telegraphed what he was going to do. Mercedes 1-2, Red Bull 3-4, and after having no points last week, I think Verstappen should take 15. Well, he could come in now and put another set on. He's got and he's got 44 seconds to Albon, may as well. Yeah. Look at Bottas' rear tyre. It's absolutely shredded compared to Verstappen's yeah, there. Yeah, he's, 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 his tyres are gone at the rear. He's, he shouldn't risk it. He should. They, they, they've got a big gap, right? Bring him in. Confirm third place. Yeah. Thirty seconds. He blows yeah. It. yeah. Bring him in. Change it. Martin Brundle's gone down now to do the post-race interviews. Paul Duesta moves up to the commentary position as well. And I've just got a feeling that they should bring Verstappen in and change that. Uh, change that uh, Picard over as well. Looking at this, Perez might get fourth. And what's happened to Lance Stroll? This is his battle. Stroll moving up into seventh place, locking up. The Renault locking up, having to take avoiding action as well. And that was Ricardo locking up for sixth place. They synchronised lock -ups. That's locking up. Yeah. And that was never going to be a move. Three laps to go. And Perez sends his fourth place. And Dad, you're right. Box, yeah, box. I'm right. They're going to go. Box for Verstappen. They've got five sets of the fastest red softs, and that's what they're going to do. They're going to put those on. 106.719, the time to beat. So they've got 28 seconds to Albon. So Verstappen pits, gets ahead, gets out just in front of the Albon battle. Maybe he'll let Albon oh. through for a podium and hold on Perez. Are they gonna why play? would he? He's now got new shoes on, so why would he do that? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's just see what's going to happen. Where are they? There they are, coming out of the last corner now. Verstappen's way ahead. He could take third place, but he's got a lot of lap traffic now. If I was Verstappen here, I'd let I would let that that uh, has go. I'd let I'd let Grosjean go because you want clean air to set the fastest lap. So mm. let him go. And then get the DRS off him to get the fastest lap as well. And look, we've got Magnussen and Raikkonen That's in the a battle. Good idea. Magnussen and uh, Giovinazzi in the battle, sorry. And they nearly made contact. Yeah, and he's letting through. But he flags about no. I would let them go because then you get the as I said, you, you get the DRS round the lap, and that helps out. So I don't see why that plan's not coming into fruition. So, 17 runners left from the penultimate lap of the Styrian Grand Prix. Fastest lap goes to Sainz with a sterling 105-619. A new lap record goes to Carlos Sainz in ninth place. So now the excitement is for who's going to get the last lap, fastest lap bonus point. Lando Norris looking to be right behind the battle with Lance Stroll and Danny Ricciardo. That's how they're going to spend the last lap of this race. We're coming on to it now. And, yeah, I'm just looking. Uh, Verstappen, uh, fastest first sector. Norris, fastest first sector. Perez has made a move on Albon. They touched! And there's a broken front wing on Sergio Perez's car! Perez with a broken front wing. It's gone underneath him! Broken wing! My goodness! Can he limp on? And Albon holds off for fourth. That was dramatic. Last lap of the race. Battle for sixth. Stroll gonna try and get to Ed Ricardo. Does the move. Lays on the brakes. Sends it. Lando Norris takes the go through. Ricardo off the track. Stroll goes through. Here comes Lando Norris for sixth. He's gonna take the three abreast. Round the outside. Stroll will get a penalty. I think Lando can do it. Go on, Lando. Stick your boot in. Full throttle in the exit. Stroll holds off. This is dramatic stuff. Ricardo taken off. 
<coughs> I don't see how this is going to help. London, Lando's got one more lap after this. He won't take the checkered flag. He can do it. This is going to be chaotic. This is still the battle. No sign of Lewis Hamilton just yet. They're going to have another lap of this. So they are, like, Hamilton's just behind this battle. So there's a 71st lap, but for Lewis Hamilton, misery of seven Under. days ago in Austria. Under. Lewis Hamilton wins the Styrian Grand Prix from Valtteri Bottas coming in second. Lewis Hamilton wins in Styria and gets 25 points, who automatically gets him ahead. Bottas keeps leading the championship, and the battle is still going on for sixth place as Lando Norris goes round the outside of Lance Stroll. And does he do it? Yes, he does! With a brilliant cutback! He splits the two races points and here comes Ricardo Verstappen comes home in third place and Verstappen locks out the podium Alexander Albon will be fourth Sergio Perez fifth and Lando Norris will take sixth place in this Grand Prix and that is dominant oh here's Perez can he get Perez go on Lando get fifth on the inside yes Yes! Lando Norris takes fifth on the line! Oh, and here comes Ricardo! Drag race! Oh! It's across the line! Norris fifth, Perez sixth, Stroll seventh, Ricardo eighth! So racing oh, point... Great drive by Norris. Ricardo is held up by Sainz, but Lando Norris fights back from a penalty that put him ninth and finishes fifth! Brilliant result from McLaren once again! Brilliant from Lando Norris! And of course, Perez had that contact, had that damage from ring. He was hemorrhaging time left and right. And look at that, Lando gets him at the line. And then of course, Stroll won't pass his teammate, will he? So he's right behind. Here comes Ricardo for a drag race. Stroll went past him. And just at the line, Perez gets across first from Stroll, from Ricardo. Wow! Next race, Hungary. So that's it from us. We are back just in a few hours time if you think about it less than 24 hours until the hungarian grand prix gets underway with your thursday weekend preview we're on air live at 9 55 on friday morning for the first practice commentary and then followed later on in the afternoon for the friday practice review saturday we in between fp3 and the rate and uh, qualifying we have the saturday practice review sunday morning we have the race preview and sunday afternoon we have the race review show and the Grand View podcast will be on the following Wednesday before a week off uh, to regenerate for the first three races. But if the first two are anything to go by, the Hungarian Grand Prix is going to be a cracker. Lewis Hamilton leaves here chasing after a seventh world title, but his teammate Valtteri Bottas is the championship leader. From us all here, bye for now.